So indeed, if you read the article, you will learn that the experiment was not perfectly randomized. For example, uh, there were some large market areas where for business reasons, it was not allowed to turn off the advertisement. And there were also other statistical reasons why um, they were not perfectly randomized, which I don't want to discuss uh, in detail here, but which are described in the paper. And this is already suggested that by the fact that we see that even before our treatment started, we have much higher average revenues per DMA in the control group. So that were these DMAs for which I did not turn for which eBay did not turn off the search engine marketing uh, in the experimental period, then in the treatment group. So already before the treatment groups had much lower reven average revenues per DMA. Here I have added with black lines and also with numbers, the average revenue in the different periods and for the different groups. For example, in the period before the experiment, the pre-experimental period, the Average DMA in the control group had um, 132,000 US dollars revenues, uh, while the average DMA in the treatment group before the experiment had 105,000.8 average US dollars. And we have also the two numbers during the experimental period. And, and these average revenues are the average daily revenues uh, per DMA in the corresponding group. Now the question is, if you just take those four numbers, what would be a good, good means hopefully consistent, so we have most strong argument that's kind of a consistent estimator of the treatment effect. So the treatment effect would be how much does the average revenue change in a DMA per day if we turn off completely the search engine marketing. And how can we kind of best estimate the treatment effect from those four numbers? First, make a guess in the quiz. <laughs> 